Welcome to Signal Systems and Transform. This is part 2 of the lecture series. We are now in Chapter 4a, Laplace Transform Introduction. In these next few slides, we will introduce what is the bilateral and the unilateral Laplace Transform definition. We will see the relationship to the continuous time Fourier transform. And then we have a one example, the Laplace Transform of this signal. We first begin with the definition of the bilateral Laplace transform. The bilateral is sometimes also called the two-sided Laplace transform. It takes the signal f of t, where f of where it t is continuous time, f of t is a function of time, and it converts it into capital F of s, where S is the Laplace transform variable and here the little b stands for the bilateral transform. The bilateral transform is defined by this equation. It takes the signal x f of t multiplied by e minus st and perform the integration over negative time infinity to positive time infinity. Hence the word bi or two-sided bilateral. The interesting thing about this is that it uses the independent variable s, where s is the complex number, and it will take the whole complex number, the whole plane of complex number. It basically transforms a signal from time into the complex plane s. The notation commonly used is this f small b of s to, remem to remind us that b is bilateral. Or sometimes we use this notation, the, the, the nice font LB to denote the Laplace of transform bilateral with the input f of t. Now, when we can perform a transform from time into the S domain, we want to take our representation in the S domain back to time. So that is the inverse bilateral transform. In fact, there is the inverse bilateral or the inverse unilateral transform or the same is defined by this equation over here. This looks like a very complicated equation. Uh, we will not deal with this. Later on, you will see that we will use lookup table to mainly deal with inverse Laplace transform. But what happens in the this inverse Laplace transform is this. It takes the representation in s multiplied by e to the power st. Notice the difference. Here is e to the power st. Well, on top, it is actually a different, uh, what do you call that, variable minus st on top. Well, we can perform this integration in the complex plane and then we'll get f of t back. To conclude, let us remind ourselves what S is. The S here, S is the complex number, and the complex number is the entire complex plane denoted by sigma plus j omega, where sigma is the entire real number, and omega is the entire uh, real number multiplied by j, so it is the entire complex line. We now continue with the definition of unilateral Laplace transform. The unilateral Laplace transform looks very similar to the bilateral. The only difference is that it takes the signal f of t and it performs this integration f of t times e minus st, but now only with respect to positive time, time from 0 to infinity. So it is on the right hand side. Of time. So if we look at time here, this is time, and if this is zero, we are only performing integration with respect to this signal on the right hand side, for example f of t, and we have assumed that uh, the signal does not exist before time. Alright, so this is the unilateral Laplace transform and it's typically used uh, rather than the bilateral. 
if we ever need to use the bilateral, we'll state so. Interestingly, the inverse Laplace transform, whether it's unilateral or bilateral, are the same.